for upcoming build-to-order public housing projects could be supported by a new integrated construction and prefabrication hub. National Development Minister Desmond Lee says such hubs can produce components locally for projects like household shelters and bathroom units. He adds the shift of construction work to such facilities will also be incentivized by lower levy rates for off-site foreign workers, which kick in from next year. Claudia Lim with this report. A robotic warehouse system that stores and retrieves building components and an automated system that produces steel bar mesh. These are examples of how the new plant by Hong Leong Asia and Malaysia's Sunway Construction Group can raise productivity and in turn potentially support the building of residential properties in Singapore. The advantage of this facility uh, is that uh, you could uh, save time and that uh, you also um, reduces the manpower needs uh, and that productivity can improve up to 80%. We hope uh, that uh, this can be a model for the future and that uh, it can uh, stand for efficiency uh, and uh, at the same time uh, speeding up uh, the building of uh, HDB flats. The facility is Singapore's sixth and the largest of its kind and can produce 100,000 cubic metres of precast components per year. That's enough to complete about 17 blocks of HDB flats. Speaking at the opening of the facility, National Development Minister Desmond Lee says such automation can allow workers to move from physically demanding roles to higher skilled jobs that pay better. It will also better attract young talent. The use of automation in ICPHs also creates a safer, better work environment for our engineers and production workers. For instance, skilled workers can control and monitor the equipment that carries out physically demanding tasks in a clean, air-conditioned control room. Mr Lee adds that such hubs will help Singapore tackle supply chain disruptions too. Building up our ICPH capabilities has allowed us to localise the production of some critical components. This makes our supply chains more resilient so that construction works can continue even if imports are disrupted. Looking ahead, Singapore expects construction demand from both the public and private sector to remain stable. The project pipeline includes the construction of more BTO flats as well as public infrastructure like MRT works and water treatment plants.